Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to continue the framework and we will understand how we can create the custom logger and use that custom logger into our Selenium framework with Python. So first thing we'll understand about the custom logger. So previously we have understood about the sample logger and how to build this logger. Now in order to convert it to a custom logger, it's pretty simple and easy. So first let us go ahead and see the changes that are required in this particular file to convert it, to, it into the custom logger so that we can use it into our framework. So what I'll do is I'll simply copy all of this content and let me simply create a new Python file and I'll name it as custom logger. Paste everything here. Right. So what we had seen previously is I will simply we, we can not keep the class there. I can keep the class. But anyways, when we are moving it to the framework, we have to just move the method because we anyways have the util class in our framework. So let's keep it as is at the moment and uh, do the changes, the required changes. So if you see this particular code here, I'll remove all these messages and then remove the console handler right so anything which is related to the console or stream handler i do not want that because in our framework we want to basically log the messages into the file and not the console right so let me remove this as well all right so wherever there was a reference of the console handler i have removed that so now we have already understood this in detail in previous tutorial that how you can create the logger so we created the logger then we created a console handler or the file handler and set the log level right so when we created the logger we set the log level uh, and then we created the console handler uh, basically the file handler and then we are setting that up right so we are saying logging dot file handler and specifying the file where my logs will be stored then formatter is formatting option for the logs in what format the log should appear and then in the file handler what we are setting up is the format handler or set formatter basically we are setting the format the way these formats will be logged into the file and then finally we are adding the handler to the logger okay so this was the sample code that we did or we understood in the previous tutorial let me rename it to custom logger right the class name and also i will rename this to the method to cust logger okay so now this particular statement if you see we had if say for example i want to get the name of the class or method from where this particular method is being called then i have to simply use this underscore underscore name right and then specify this logger demo or the the class that we want to specify say for example i want to if i am calling this particular method from this class i'll simply say cust logger under underscore underscore name and it should log that particular class name now this is something which we want to change the reason being that if say for example this logger is being called from a page class a then it should display the name of the page class a if it is called from page class b it should display the class name as b so depending on which class or which particular file you are calling this particular custom logger from you have to it has to automatically detect and print it into the statements and that's how it will be helpful right when you are going to debug your code when you are going to see your logs you need to see from which particular file or class these messages or the the log messages are coming from and where the error occurred right so the first thing we have to do is we have to basically set up that and python provides the inspect module which will help you to log the method or the class from where this particular logger will be called so the first statement will set that up will will simply say so i'll just say set class or method name right from where it's called so how we can do it we can simply say we'll say logger name right a variable and because we know there is a method or there is a module inspect in python and we'll use inspect dot stack right and with this particular method and module if you'll simply pass on a statement like this it will basically provide the name of the class or method from where you will call this custom logger now this is a big module i won't be going into too much detail of it but this is the statement that you have to basically first statement in your custom logger that you have to put and you have to import the inspect right so you simply say import 
and the error will be gone. Now we have this logger name and now instead of this get logger underscore underscore name, what we need to change here is we'll simply change this argument to logger name, right? So now wherever you will be calling this particular cust logger, that class name will get logged. Okay, and we'll understand that in just a moment when we use it, this custom logger into our framework. So this is one of the change. The second thing is basically, I want to have the flexibility to pass the log level, right? So I can simply, if I say log level here, right, then I should be able to pass on this log level, right? So by default, if the person doesn't provide the log level, let's keep it to debug level right so we'll simply say logging dot debug okay by default and instead of hard coding this debug here we'll simply get it from the as an argument and if somebody doesn't provide an argument the default logging level is debug anyways which we have defined here if say for example you want to change the logging level in a particular class you can pass the log level when you are ca calling this custom logger so that's the second change right the first change is to set the class and method from where it's called so there's the statement the second change is setting the log level and then we are basically storing the logs into the file so you can specify a file something like for your automation framework i'll, I'll simply say automation logs right so automation.log file and then formatter will keep it as is we are formatting based on the time the level name and message and then we also are formatting the date in a specific format so let's keep it as is and after all of this is done then we are adding console handler to logger and once this is done we just need to return the logger right so that's the important aspect of it because we want to return this logger so that any class which is using this logger can basically utilize the logger right and now because we know that this is the class has changed so that is why it is giving the error here we don't need this anyway right so this is what we need to do in order to create the custom logger we minimize it right so this is the sample code that is required to create the custom logger and now once this code is all ready this is the utility that we can push to our automation framework and use it in our automation framework to log the messages instead of printing the statements on the console all right so that's all about creating the custom logger all of these details all of these steps we have already understood in the previous tutorial so if you haven't watched it watch that first so that you understand what exactly is going on when we say formatter when we say add handler and then you come to this particular tutorial so this is our custom utility ready to be moved to the framework in the next tutorial we'll move it to the framework and log the messages into the log file which is which will be the automation.log file so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching